I have covered so many random facts about Pokemon on this channel, with some of those facts maybe sounding a little bit too crazy to be true. And that's inspired me to make a video full of Pokemon facts that might sound fake at first, but are 100% real. Some of these facts you guys are bound to already know, but they're worded in a way that would sound off if you didn't already know about them. So, here are some Pokemon facts that might sound fake, but are actually true. Starting with... Skiddo is based on a bike, and Gogo is based on a motorcycle. Yes, they are based on goats as well, but with their horns acting like handlebars, and how you ride them in the games, they are also based on bikes and motorcycles. Japan's least favourite Pokemon of all of them is one that is inspired by one of the three wise monkeys, specifically Here's No Evil, whose fiery-like appearance is somewhat similar to an active volcano, with Japan's all-time favourite Pokemon being a weird-shaped frog with its tongue wrapped around its face. Yes, looking at them it does make more sense, but on paper it really doesn't sound right. Cosmoium is tied with Celesteela as the heaviest Pokemon ever, weighing at almost as much as an entire car. On the other hand, Ash is probably the strongest human in the Pokemon universe, and probably our universe as well. These two Pokemon, that both look like dragons and are based on dragons, are not dragon type. Yes, all these Pokemon are dragon type. Pokemon is a kid's game in which you are able to force creatures to mate and make babies all within minutes of each other. Ghost type Pokemon are immune to giant explosions, beams of energy, powerful strikes and sounds, yet are weak to a lick. Mewtwo one of the most powerful Pokemon in existence, strong enough to effortlessly beat other strong Pokemon, is also weak to a lick. And Bugs, he's weak to Bugs as well. You can sing the Pokemon theme to the tune of Amazing Grace. On the other hand, you can also sing Amazing Grace to the tune of the Pokemon theme. Now, I'm not going to try that myself or play anything because I don't want this video to get claimed or whatever, but if you don't believe me, why don't you sing it for yourself? Apparently Lickitung's dex number is 108 because, a quote from one of the people who worked on the Generation 1 games, 108 in Japanese is Hakuhachi. It rhymes with Shakuhachi, a traditional recorder-like instrument, which is also slang for... Draw your own conclusion. No one involved in development would admit it, of course. Yeah, I probably wouldn't believe that either. This Pokemon who is claimed to be the Guardian of the Sea, is shown to be mostly flying by water, or in water, learns countless water-type moves, and has even represented in the games many times to be associated heavily with water, is not water-type. This Pokémon is not a Pikachu. It's a Ditto. This Pokémon is not a Pikachu, or a Ditto. It's Zoroark. This Pokémon is not a Pikachu, or Ditto, or Zoroark. This is Zoroa. This Pokemon is not a Ditto, or a Zoroark, or a Zoroa. It's Pikachu. This Pokemon is not a Sceptile. This is Zatu. For Alligator's name is not spelled correctly. That is because in the Gen 2 games, Pokemon names had a 10 character limit, and so in order to fit for Alligator's name, they had to get rid of a letter which is why the end of Feraligator's name is spelled like this. There are more ways to sort a Pokemon TCG deck than there are atoms on Earth. It's estimated that there are around this many atoms on Earth, whereas the total number of ways to order a 52 card deck is 52 factorial, meaning the total number for a Pokemon deck would be 60 factorial, which in comparison looks like this. This number is so insanely big that if you shuffle that deck of cards well, it will go into an order that it has never been before, or ever will again. There are more fake flamingos on Earth than real ones. And if you thought that was impressive, there are more fake Pokemon on Earth than real ones. If you ate dirt from one of Alakazam's spoons, it would taste delicious. And that is because according to the Pokedex, Anything that you eat from an Alakazam spoon becomes delicious. Anything. 
you want to feel old? The official release of Pokemon is as close to our current year than it is to the 1970s. That's not good. It is possible for a Pokemon to change gender, specifically Azuril. In Generation 3, there was a small chance that Azuril would change gender if it evolved. That is because Azuril's gender difference and Amaro's gender difference are both different, however this was fixed in future games. Chatot at one point was the only non-mythical, non-legendary Pokemon to be banned from official formats. No, this isn't because it was too powerful, it is because in past generations, the player was able to record themselves thanks to Chatot's signature move, Chatter, making Chatot's cry when it comes out the Pokeball being whatever was recorded, leading to inappropriate words happening quite often. You were not able to trade a Kofagrigus on the GTS without nicknaming it. That is because Kofagrigus' name contains a certain word, and due to the censorship the GTS had, preventing people from trading Pokemon with offensive nicknames, giving a different name to this Pokemon was the only way you were trading it online. Do you know what the rarest Pokemon card is? It's not a Charizard, it's not the Illustrator Pikachu, instead, it is a card called Number One Trainer. While the Illustrator Pikachu card is a contender for being the most valuable Pokemon card, the Number One Trainer card is rarer, since there are only seven copies of it in existence. There are also multiple versions of the Number One Trainer card, depending on the year and World Championship it was given. And since they are only given to the World Champion, it definitely makes them among the rarest. It's common knowledge by now that Charizard is not as tall as you think being a measly 5 foot 7, but there are even worse cases than that. For example, Salamence is 4 foot 11. This cool ass dragon from Gen 3 is less than 5 foot. In comparison, a Dratini is 5 foot 11. This thing is taller than both Salamence and Charizard. Now that's kind of embarrassing. Shelder and Cloister move backwards. Don't believe me? Apparently this is how some clams move about. The move Splash isn't Water type. The move Dragon Ascent isn't Dragon type. The move Rock Climb isn't Rock type. And all the moves that have Spike in the name are all different types. That's pretty inconsistent. Which Pokemon do you think is able to deal the single most amount of damage to a Pokemon in a Pokemon game? Not including one hit KO moves. And how much damage do you think the single strongest hit would deal? You'd think it might be a legendary Pokemon with the highest stats using the strongest move. Well, that's not the case. Because the Pokemon that is able to deal the most amount of damage is... Shuckle. Yeah, Shuckle. Now I'm sure some of you probably already knew this, but how exactly does Shuckle land the most damaging hit in all of Pokemon? Well, it's complicated. Let's just say that this setup would not only never happen in an actual Pokemon battle, it's pretty ridiculous. Hell, you can't even do the setup in the current generation. You can only perform it in generation 6, and you need a very specific shuckle with the move Mimic, which is only available in Fire Red and Leaf Green. The setup itself is actually pretty cool, so if you want to know exactly how it goes, and how shuckle is able to deal the most amount of damage out of any Pokemon, I'll link you to a video that Dobbs made, explaining exactly how this is possible. And if you're wondering what the exact number is that Shuckle can deal, if you pull off the setup correctly, Shuckle will deal a total of 721,898,981 damage. Meaning in order to survive this hit, the opposing Pokemon has to have a total of 721,898,982 points of health. That is insane. Who is the biggest Poketuber on YouTube? You might have an idea of who it could be, but in case you didn't know, the answer to that question is... Mr. Beast. I mean, he was kind of a Pokemon YouTuber at one point, not really, but basically if you go back to his older videos, he did quite a few Pokemon battle videos on Showdown, meaning at one point he probably was thinking about being a Pokemon channel. Although, obviously not anymore. The best Pokemon Game Freak has made is Infernape. 
I know, I know. It sounds fake, but it's actually a fact. Lucario is a very close second, though. And the last Pokemon-related fact in this video that I'm going to be covering is... I am officially the 16th best Pokemon channel on YouTube. At one point I was 22, but I've moved up. And those are some Pokemon facts that might sound fake, but again, are completely true. Yes, all of them are true. Every single one. I didn't make any of them up. And since you guys seem to like me covering random facts about Pokemon, if I can think of any more, I'm definitely down to do this again. And please do leave a like if you did enjoy the video and want to see more like them. Subscribe and ring the bell for more Pokemon content in the future. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.